Quite frankly, I can go way, way back uh, to the time that uh, I was a child. Uh, many things were adjusted uh, by the sheriff or the police chief, uh, simply snatching a boy or girl up and taking them home and saying, I caught Bubba Jr. doing this or doing that. You, you better talk to him or whip him and that'll be the end of it. And it's gone. Uh, it hasn't always been that every child was hauled in to a court of any type when uh, there was some infraction or delinquent act uh, uncovered. Uh. More and more harsh penalties and normal school misbehavior that had for a century been handled um, by school people, by teachers and principals and school administrators, suddenly were being handled by police and prosecutors and police were in the schools and uh, the high profile school shootings contributed to a kind of pandemonium uh, about school violence, not borne out by the statistics, by the way. Schools became almost like little fortresses and prisons. You can't get in, you can't get out. The school to prison pipeline is a series of policies or practices that tend to funnel students, school-age children, out of the school system and into the justice system. Number of policies and practices that are part of the schoolhouse to jailhouse or school to prison pipeline. Uh, they're as simple as zero tolerance policies at school, uh, the increase of school resource officers at schools, the over criminalization of school related behavior, things that used to get you detention or suspension are now getting you suspension and juvenile court referrals or criminal court referrals. Especially for a lot of young black males. I know a lot of the young black males without diplomas. Truancy and like not being at school and all that rolls. I know by 100%. The incident just changed everything. I was an honor student. I was FCCL. I was in many different clubs, drama club, art club. I was doing a lot so colleges can look at me. But it seemed like when you do your best, it's not enough. And just one incident just changed the whole thing. Instead of me walking in a white robe, I walked in a blue robe. I attended high school for four years, and I was either um, expelled or suspended from there um, all those four years. Like my little brother, he kept suspensions every week. He two, three suspensions a week, one week. And the principal even told me if I did one more thing, you're gonna expel me. And it was like the second week of school. I got drawn suspension on, you know, being late for class a certain amount of time, or just not coming at all to a certain class. You know, that don't mean I wasn't going to school. I just didn't come to a certain class. The cell phone, you get three days for having your cell phone. What is it? You get three days for a cell phone. I mean, chewing so gum, uh, uh, overnight suspension or even being late. I just want to be understood though. The school to prison pipeline is a huge issue. It's a nationwide issue. I would call it a social um, endemic. It's, it's something that uh, is requiring grave attention. It's been analyzed at the federal level, the state level. They bringing in the police and all this for the school, and they treating us like we prisoners. <laughs>